What should I do if I get monkeypox overseas? Will my travel insurance cover me? Is there a vaccine I can take? These are some questions you had on monkeypox. My name is Alyssa Wu and welcome to Ask ST. What is the current update of the situation in Singapore? As of August the 5th, there has been 15 local cases here, with one being a linked case. The risk in Singapore remains low. Monkeypox patients in Singapore who are clinically stable will be sent to a dedicated isolation facility with round-the-clock telemedicine support. They are there until they are fit for discharge. Now, what if I am a close contact of someone with monkeypox? You will have to be quarantined at home for 14 days, after which you will be monitored through phone calls for any symptoms for the next 7 days. If you're not able to do your quarantine at home, you can do so at a government quarantine facility. How can I protect myself against monkeypox? According to Dr. Leong Ho Nam, an infectious diseases specialist from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital, the best way to protect yourself is to practice good personal hygiene and avoid close contact with other individuals known or suspected to have monkeypox. Transmission is mainly and usually through very, very close contact and wounds on the body, such as microabrasions and cuts, which enables the virus to penetrate through the skin. And in situations where two individuals are exposed to very large droplets, for example, kissing, that can also be a mode of transmission for the virus. Inanimate objects may theoretically transmit the virus, but that's not a common way for it to spread. However, if you're worried, you can kill the virus on surfaces using 70% isopropyl alcohol. Will travel insurance cover me if I get monkeypox overseas? Travel insurance companies may not cover monkeypox if it's declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization or an endemic by the Ministry of Health. This may be the case even if you bought the travel insurance before monkeypox was declared a pandemic. It's best to check with your insurance agent on the terms and conditions of your plan and to read the fine print. In general, do ensure the travel insurance plan provides cover for medical expenses and medical evacuation overseas as well as post-travel medical expenses. Do make sure you are also covered for travel expenses that may arise from issues such as flight postponement, cancellation or the shortening of your trip. What should I do if I get monkeypox overseas? Different countries will have different protocols. Some may require you to call a sexual health clinic and others a general practitioner. If you have travel insurance, it's probably better for you to contact the medical emergency hotline of your insurer. They can direct you to a doctor or help you get treatment at a hospital overseas. Is there medication or a vaccine I can take to protect myself against monkeypox? Yes, there is. The vaccine Decoverimet, which was designed for smallpox, will work against monkeypox as well. However, it's not easily available and more importantly, it is not necessary. In Singapore, mass population-wide vaccination is currently not the recommended preventive strategy for monkeypox as the benefits do not outweigh the risk. Only individuals who are at a higher risk of infections, such as healthcare personnel who are exposed to confirmed cases, may be offered the smallpox vaccine to prevent them from getting infected. What are the side effects of the smallpox vaccine? It is similar to monkeypox symptoms. Swollen lymph glands, fever, headache and body aches, fatigue and a rash. Hopefully this video helps you with what to do if you get monkeypox overseas. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to the Straits Times YouTube channel for more content. If you have any questions on monkeypox or not, drop me an email at askst at sph.com.sg. You ask, we answer.